I have a left and right guitar track. Let's route each of those to guitar. And I have lead vocal. I can begin to comprehend it. Let's route the vocals to the vocal bus. I think this one will also go to the vocal bus. And we're set. The way I conceived this, as far as the guitars are concerned, is one guitar to the left and one guitar to the right, so I'm going to pan each of those accordingly. Let's take a listen and see where we stand. Well, already it's clear that we can't hear the vocal. The vocal has to be the predominant thing in the mix. So we've got our work cut out for us. I'm going to add the Waves L1 Ultra Maximizer Plus to the vocal bus. This is a very light setting. Let's see what it sounds like. We don't talk anymore. We don't talk anymore. Adds a little bit of presence face to, to it. Face to face. I usually like to start with the bass and then the drums. I think I'm going to pan each of these bass tracks 1% off center. And let's see what changing the phase will do. kind of like it right there. Remember, we're varying the phases of the plain bass track and the max bass track. Let's add the drums. You know, it sounds like the bass and the drums are slightly off. What can we do about that? You can see here that they don't start at exactly the same point. Even though these were copied from a going project in Sonar, the bass came out a little bit off. So what I'm going to do is, using the keys on the numeric keypad, I'm going to nudge these over. And I think that'll make the difference. Much better. Let's listen to the two guitars. Sounds okay. Let's add the keys. I think we need to turn the keys up a little or the guitar down. Let's bring the guitar down a tad. That's a little better. Let's listen to the whole thing except the vocal.
that sounds pretty good for a rough mix.